And speaking of Ukraine, tonight professional dancers from the city and abroad took to the stage for a one night only performance to raise humanitarian aid for the country. Several performers, including a refugee, shared their personal stories with CBS 2's Jenna DeAngelis. This couple putting their hearts in this performance. But even doing what they love, they can't take their minds off family in Ukraine. The last six weeks have been a total nightmare. It's uh, my life has turned upside down completely because my family is in Mariupol. Antonina Skobina sharing this photo, hugging her mother, wanting nothing more than to do that again. She's had no contact with her family since early March. My grandfather passed away in the middle of March from lack of medication. The war is still going on, and uh, it's so easy to get tired of it and to, to keep watching the same images. And at some point, you want to switch off, but we just would like to ask people to keep helping as much as they can because it's not over yet. That's what this benefit at the Florence Gould Hall Theater is all about, raising awareness and money for Ukraine. It's all going to the Friend Fund, which is uh, directly buying medical supplies, food, clothing for mothers, babies, and uh, the military. Kimberly Gianelli is with I Heart Dance, an initiative started in the pandemic to help get dancers back on stage, now using the power of dance to unite for Ukraine. Each performance so moving, and each dancer with a story of why they're on stage. She's happy to be here. This 11 year old refugee escaped Kyiv with her parents and siblings. They were crying and they were afraid. This pair left their jobs with a prestigious ballet company in Russia. Seeing what was happening in Ukraine made us want to leave Russia. We can't really help, you know, but we can dance. Dancing to make a difference, one step at a time. The dancers all donated their time and talents to be a part of this and performed to a sold-out theater. On the Upper East Side, Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News.